uh, at one of the most intriguing characters in the game. Talented, difficult, complex, some of the more polite things said about Mario Balotelli. In his first TV interview in this country, he spoke to Ned Bolton. I'm shy. Even I, I know that you don't believe me, but I'm really shy. Ciao, I'm Mario. I'm quiet. A little bit quiet, not really. <laughs> As images go, it's striking. The advertisers are already cashing in on Mario Balotelli's disorderly start to life in the maelstrom of Manchester City. To be fair to him, he's a really nice, genuine guy. Typical Balotelli, yes. <laughs> he's a loose cannon, isn't he? Check the knives. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes, not like in Italy, but I'm OK. Yeah, I'm OK. Just OK? Mm. Yeah, I'm okay. But okay is enough, no? Was that the first English cup of tea that you've ever made? Mm, yeah, with milk. That's strange. The Man City microwave cooks up its own pressure. Money is one thing. If you are 20 years old and you can buy Maserati, you don't buy Maserati. Well, man, rich man. <laughs> Fame is another. I don't know how people can say stuff about me when they don't know me. But when you are famous, you have to get used to this. I don't like the English press. I don't like German press or Chinese press. <laughs> I don't like press. Brescia, a small town near Milan. It's here that Mario Balotelli's unique story really begins to unfold. Though, of course, back then, he wasn't Mario Balotelli. You have been rebellious against the law. What you live and what you do is provoking God. He's still your son. Oh, my son, I love him. I love him. I love him so much. Mario Bawur was born to Ghanaian immigrants Rose and Thomas. For the first nine months of life, he struggled to survive a malformation of the intestine, a rare condition which is often fatal. You die. You die in a few hours. And he was saved. It's a miracle. As the Bawurs battled to care for their growing family, they entered a fostering arrangement with social services. Soon, the three-year-old Mario was being raised by the Balotellis, a white family from the other side of Brescia. And under their care, he grew up. He used to go to the teacher and ask her if uh, his heart was white or black. His contact with the Bawurs grew increasingly sporadic. This, this is Mario. Until aged 18, he assumed Italian citizenship. Uh, Mario Balotelli had decided where his loyalties lay. Do you think one day you'll be back together? <laughs> By all means. No, not God, angry with you. Only God can change him. So any time I pray God that he will change him. But I know that he will change. I don't even know what to say about my character. Why is it so complicated? No, it's not complicated. It's particular. The Balotelli family knew that Mario had talent. They allowed it to take root. Football became his everything. No, no, my list. Mine. Then, at 15, Mario Balotelli was about to be unleashed on the Italian public. And at the same time, the Italian public was about to be unleashed on him. Eccolo lì, eccolo lì, vedi? Ecco la che riceve la palma. His professional debut for Lumetzani against Padua in Serie C, he'd barely been on the pitch when it started. Immediately, the people in Padova started booing him. You know, the monkey thing, you know, ooh, 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 something like that. It was like that every time. Probably he has something in his head, you know, sometimes, but, but mm, it happened, of course, in the reality. Obviously, even the fact that he's black is not something that probably helped him in a certain moment because there were some stupid people booing him. Era uno che scherzava molto negli spogliatoi e tutto. Non era quel ragazzo che poi è diventato. Era lì poggiato al palo che piangeva, veniva giù una fontana di lacrime qua. <laughs> Quando Comunque, abbiamo convinto ad andare in panchina, dopo il secondo tempo è rientrato, si è fatto le sue due reti, abbiamo vinto 2-1. Should we talk about football? If you want, you are just on You haven't spoken much. No. In public, so... People this, this, speak this, about me, but I never speak with people. So people don't know what you're like? No. But now, now they maybe with this interview they'll find out a little bit more about maybe maybe. Possibly. Yeah, but if I have to explain to you my character, we're gonna stay here for two days. <laughs> At Inter, the turmoil became ingrained. Mancini gave him his place. 
Mourinho snatched it away. Probably Mourinho couldn't accept that he didn't have a soldier with him, but a free person. Obviously Balotelli is a bit of a risk, but he's also a great talent and a great challenge for himself and also for the managers. A series of trademark Balotelli flash fires ended with a very public burning of bridges. This clip of him holding a Milan shirt, some say, was designed to engineer an exit. St Anne's Hospice on the outskirts of Manchester last week. That's you in the window. Oh my God, you've nothing on. <laughs> you wish, huh? If it hadn't been Mancini, would you have come here? Is no. he? Papa, Papa. <laughs> he calls you Papa. <laughs> I understand that Mancini is very important for me and I have to listen to him because I have to give something to him. I understand that uh, he needs support because uh, he can lose his, uh, his career for nothing. He's been the centre of a fight between two families and two loves. It's the hole in the heart that, that what everything is about. I hope he will change. He will not be like this, always. Mario, come on, we need you. I think that he has everything to become like Cantona with United. I think that Mario could be the same player for Manchester City. I believe I can be the best. That's what I think, maybe I'm wrong. Fascinating stuff raises many questions. I'm probably showing my age when my main question is how much does it cost to insure a 20-year-old Premier League footballer for a 